Good morning. I am in one of my, I think this is my favourite ever place to ride. It's the Dales and today, well Yorkshire Dales, and today we're doing a gravel ride. So off-road, bit of road. The weather is amazing. I feel a little bit better as well. So I was going to see how we're going to get on. It's about 100k, 1500 metres. I think, I think maybe half of it's off-road. I can't remember what the percentage is, but anyway, it's really nice, really pretty. I'm here with Ange, David and uh, Ken. So we're just going to see, just make a nice steady day, a few cafe stops and just enjoy the beautiful views. Hello. Hello. <laughs> About 3k in and I'm like, this is an amazing route. I will leave a link to it below, but I'm just plotted it and it is already just beautiful. Stone walls, we've got hills, we've got rocks, a bit of gravel and the weather is so good. I'm just very, 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 very happy. Oh, second breakfast. Yeah. They're nice. <laughs> Sea pill, dark tunnel. Ken's off. <laughs> Good planning. <laughs> we, I think we've done this before on road yeah, bikes. I've done it coming up the way, I remember. Oh, that when we did that massive day. That bonkers day, you know, where Ken had three punctures all the way home. Oh. <laughs> Your route planning is good, Anne. It's adventure planning. Well, in fact, it's quite a biggest one. Oh, really? We're <laughs> just chatting about old actors and Ken's first 400. Tell us, Ken. Yeah, it was on the tandem. <laughs> His first 100k ride. Who was who was on the tandem with you? Hiker. A hiker. Yeah, yeah it's a met tandem. Ah, uh, was it? It's yeah. alright actually. Right. Were you on the front or the back? I was on the front. I think we get you and Ange on a tandem. You. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. The amount of money in the world you get me on a tandem with anyone. Oh. David used to ride a tandem all the time. David, yeah. who with? With my second wife. That's probably why they're divorced now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe I'll have to try a tandem. Oh, actually, I potentially am going to be riding a tandem. But I'll not tell you, I'll tell these. Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> Can you see why I love the Dales? Honestly, yeah, favourite place to ride ever. Especially when the weather's like this. Oh. I feel like I'm so boring when I come here. I'm just like, oh, it's the best place to ride because look, it just is the best place. Look what it is! You probably can't see on the GoPro. Some people had viaduct. Oh, I love it. Look how narrow this is. Oh, my, my bar's good. I'm stuck now. <laughs> my cranks. <laughs> It's really slats in it, it's like it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> right off it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes the gravel rides are a little bit mountain bike. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a waterfall though. Do you know where, where we are now? We're in Dentdale. This is Dentdale. Right, oh. I thought we'd made it to the top. We got to like what I thought was the crest of it. Yeah. And then you look ahead and this is like, you've got, oh. just hikers for everywhere. Look at that. That's unbelievable. This is my limit. The limit of a gravel bike. Well, my ability is on one anyway. This is it. It's so steep and so rocky. We found a bit of grass. I'll, sh I'll leave the um, the route below so you can see where we've been. This is a new sport. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called uh, taking your bike for a walk and it's pretty fun. It's pretty hard going. I feel like it's more exhausting than uh, actually just pedaling a bike. You burn more calories, you get more fit. You work your arm muscles a lot more. 
fun factor, not so much. Oh. Two arrows together like that means it's over 20 And is that on road or off road? That's on. I reckon we've spent the last at least hour just, we literally walked, when that guy said to us, he said, you've not pushed it up and then pushed it down. We're like, pretty much, yeah, that's, that's, that is what we've done. Yeah. But we, we saw a nice view. You know? It was a very nice view. It was a lovely view. Oh, we think we've scammed some bananas. Look, bananas. Usually the coffee. Bananas. <laughs> because when the, the woman who's training, like you took those, but then she mm -hmm. wrote three bananas on the sheet, so they'll just take me with three bananas. No, stick to be for them little piddlers. Huh? <laughs> we're so northern and tight. <laughs> we're like, bloody pain, not. I thought she was going to say like 20p. I know. <laughs> the sun sets in six, point, six hours. Seven hours to go. We've got Average what? Speed 4.7, <laughs> we've got 35 miles to go. Oh my god, we're not going to make it back then, are we? 4.7 miles an hour? Yeah, that's our average speed. <laughs> speed up now, won't we? We are going faster than our average speed oh. at the moment. <laughs> oh, are we? <coughs> oh yeah, because that was like walking pace over rocks. I think one way to make road climbs, like steep road climbs, seem easier is hike a bike up something really steep and rocky and then descend it. Then any road climb will feel like, oh, this is really easy. I don't have to get up and push. Look at this. Another cafe if we want. Woohoo, another cafe stop. Yeah, we are, we're definitely going to stop at another cafe. Good <laughs> <laughs> 4.7 mile an hour average speed. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to come and ride with the fast crew, you know where to find us. <laughs> don't call us, yeah. <laughs> right, so our friend Toby told us what is it? This is Barbendale. Barbendale. And this yeah. is his favourite stretch, is it? One of a, one of his favourites, yeah. And he's not very well at the minute. He uh, had a bit of an accident and broke his back, basically. So he's recovering. So a little little get well from us. Yeah, get well, Toby. Get well, Toby. We'll enjoy this descent for you. You'll be back on it in no time. This is a phenomenal road. That mountain, oh my gosh, oh my god, it's a sheep! The light was right. He was so right, this is so good. Can I have your engine almond cake? That's me, please. There you are. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Should it put candle in it. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, did you like that surprise? I did. You would never have guessed it. <laughs> you know, I like a good rock. Look at this rock. How good is that? Right, we've finished the ride. Have you found any? None! I'm going to go down the road. <laughs> Angie's on the hunt for blackberries. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get some grub. So thank you so much for watching. I will leave a link below to the route that we did. It was absolutely just so, so good. Apart from, I mean, it was pretty tough. It was basically climbing up with our bike and then just carrying it back down. Did you find any? Oh, they are good. Is that all you managed to find? Well, without kind of breaking my neck and falling in bush, <laughs> I could probably go around on the side and get a few more. <laughs> yeah, come on. And for the blackberries. Let me full of blackberries. Million and one uses for a top tube bag. I seem to remember us doing this before sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time. <laughs> That's what you've got to do. <laughs> These are your wine there. Shot, shot, shot. <laughs> it's like sherry, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.